Good morning, everybody. Today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the hard start kits for air conditioner compressors and, and how they work. What I have right here is a, a OEM kit for a carrier that I keep in my spares for my house. Um, so just about a little bit about how these work. I've seen a lot of videos where techs will, or homeowners will explain, well, this capacitor sends a big jolt of energy to the compressor to help it start. Let me just say, uh, that may be what a capacitor does in a DC system, like on a car where you're using a, a big capacitor to boost a stereo system or something. That's how it works in DC. But AC circuits uh, behave completely uh, differently. So, um, so the first rumor I want to dispel here is about how these work. And I'll go to my notes here. A start capacitor does not send a storage charge to the compressor. Well, how do I know that? Well, here's the start capacitor from this carrier, um, this carrier kit. This little gadget on the top there is a bleeder resistor. The purpose of the bleeder resistor is to do exactly what it implies, is to bleed the charge off the capacitor. I charged this capacitor up with 24 volts, and uh, it took about five seconds for this bleeder resistor to bleed all the charge off from 20, uh, 24 volts. So just in a matter of a few seconds, um, that bleeder resistor is going to remove all the charge from this capacitor. When you install this on your system through this uh, potential relay, this potential relay is normally closed. So that's going to put this start capacitor in parallel with your run capacitor, and this bleeder resistor through this relay is going to bleed off any charge that's in the run capacitor as well. So there's not going to be any charge to send to the compressor. The way this works is, you say, well, how does it work? Well, the way it works is what you're doing is throwing a big hunk of capacitance across uh, or in series with the start winding. So the start capacitor causes an increase in phase angle between the start and the run winding, creating a greater starting torque. That's how this works. It's not sending a big charge to the compressor a uh, big you know surge of energy it's causing a phase shift between the windings to create the um, the starting torque and then once it speeds up and picks up the voltage that it's uh, picking up this this relay drops this capacitor out so that's how it works uh, just one little hint about these these relays have to be mounted a certain way so you see on this this relay here is pointing to the top being to the right which is this way so I have another relay taken apart here and showing you the top. This is the side they want, this is a GE relay, this is the side they want to be up. And the reason is we want gravity assist to open this contact. So when the relay energizes here, it's normally closed, which is the normal position right here. When the relay energizes, we want gravity assist for the mass of this little lever here to help open the contacts because it's essential that when the uh, compressor starts, that this relay is able to pull this open and take the start capacitor out of the circuit. This capacitor is not made to heat up and run for a long time like your run capacitor is, so it's essential. It's got to come out of the circuit. Plus, the compressor is optimized to run on the run capacitor capacitance, and you don't want this in there. So be careful when you're installing these um, to, to put the relay and, um, and facing the right direction. So um, just a couple of conclusions here. AC circuits don't behave like DC circuits and that's why there's a difference in here. And the bleeder resistor is the evidence here that this capacitor is not sending a big charge to the compressor because there is no charge. There's nothing left in here to send. All it's doing is causing a phase shift between the, the two uh, start winding and the run winding to create the torque. Okay, so here's another thing I wanna dispel. Two-wire two wire hard start kits with a potential relay are fine. See a lot of people hating on two-wire kits. What they're meaning to say is they're hating on the two-wire kits with the PTC uh, gadget in it, the, the thermal gadget, like the Supco SP, SPP6. Those things, once they get hot once, they don't provide a reliable restart. There are two wire kits made by, for instance, Kickstart, and I'm not a Kickstart rep or anything. I, I, have, I have, do have one. Um, the two wire kits with the potential relay from Kickstart are fine. 
They're reliable, they'll restart every time, and the reason is they use a potential relay like this. This thing doesn't uh, change behavior after the first or second start. It works the same way every time. So the Kickstart 2-wire kick is, uh, kit is perfectly fine, and it's got an advantage. You cannot uh, install it wrong. There's only two wires, and they go on the run capacitor, and that's it. It's very easy to install. Likewise, the three-wire hard start kits are fine. The 521 type, they, this, is, this is an OEM kit from Carrier, but it's, it's essentially a 521. This uh, relay has the 521, so it, it, uh, it's essentially the same operating principle as a 521. So the three-wire kits like the 521 are perfectly fine. They work very well and they're very, um, they repeat very well, so uh, those are good too. But do not use, I do not recommend these uh, thermal, um, the, these PTC kits like the Supco because they do not uh, work reliably the second or third or fourth time. So in conclusion, the capacitor does not send a big charge to the compressor because there is no charge because the bleed resistor, it's the behavior of AC circuits that's causing the phase shift between the windings to create the starting torque and then the relay takes it out. That's how it works. Thanks for looking. Good luck. I'm a big fan of these kits. They're not expensive. Everybody should have these on all your compressors. I'm out. Thank you.